table for nine? Yes. This way. The city of Chilliwack came out in full force on Friday to show their support for local restaurants recently attacked by racist and hateful emails. The anonymous sender claimed his views were on behalf of the city, but residents state that's simply not the case. So they organized a cash mob. A cash mob, we're basically taking the flash mob idea and combining it with the shop local philosophy. So there's no singing and dancing, but everybody spends a little bit of money at a locally owned business in town. Everybody knows about the emails that were sent out and nobody in town wants to have you know, everybody in the world think that their opinions were reflected by one person with an anonymous email. So the cash mob is the best way to show it. Everybody comes out and shows their support and has a great meal. We came out to support the cash mob today. We were not happy because that's not really the way people feel in Chilliwack. Our community is very accepting of different ethnic groups and it's just disappointing when people are racist and say things that are nasty and we just want to show our support that, you know, we, Chilliwack has been very accepting of different ethnic groups. And we have a wide variety of ethnic restaurants in our town and just another way to support them and come out and let them know that person doesn't speak for the majority of Chilliwack people because we are a very friendly community. I receive a lot of emails, the phone calls, and now they plan to come in the restaurant and now you can look a lot of people here. They show up that they are with us and they accept it. East Indian people in Chile, they don't hate it. Yeah, if there's ever any doubt as to whether they were accepted in Chilliwack or welcome, I, I think today should be proof that that they absolutely are, and they should feel that they're, you know, they have just as much right to be here as anyone else, and, and that no one has the right to try and scare them off. For Vancouver Desi.com, I'm Larissa Kahoot.